tonight's showbiz report. It's been a tough year for music fans as festivals and concerts have been canceled left and right during the pandemic. Well, the organizers of the Joshua Tree Music Festival have found a way to bring the event right to your living room. NBC Palm Springs' Steve Summerall explains. I have a brother, he called me up like early March, late February. He's like, hey, do you think this pandemic might affect the festival? I was like, you've been to the festival. We're in the hugging business. Everybody's hugging. Yes, it's going to affect us. Barnett English is referring to the Joshua Tree Music and Arts Festival, a biannual gathering of music fans and music makers who have been singing, dancing, and creating art under the desert sky. The bad news is that due to COVID, you won't be attending the festival this year. The good news is that the festival from October 23rd to the 25th is coming to you virtually. Since making this announcement, Barnett, who founded the festival in 2003, has been overwhelmed by the amount of support. Every single person said, yeah, you know, let's just make it happen. We'll do it for for X amount of dollars and then let's just see what we can uh, raise online and, and then we'll share the share the rest. Such an intricate part of the desert. It's like the heart of the desert, this festival. One of the headliners is Jessica Von Rabbit, a veteran of the first festival in April 2003. As far as streaming performances are concerned, Jessica and her guitarist, Lee Joseph, have acquired some experience. Beginning of the quarantine, um, myself and Lee, we were doing some uh, live streams every Sunday from my living room and uh, my music room, I guess. And that was really great. We learned a bunch of covers and I was having fun with that. And I've done a few since. To ensure superior quality and avoid technical glitches, the event organizers opted to pre-record the artist at the festival grounds a week prior to the event. And that was fun. We got out there and it was just nice to be on the grounds and get a little taste of that again. But I'm hoping that we can do it for real this next year. Just a few of the acts that will be featured are from Los Angeles, Bumpasaurus. They're like talking heads and Devo smashed together with an extra uh, Parliament Funkadelic steroid shot. And from the Bay Area, Afrolicious. They're uh, super groove oriented um, with a message of love. It may be a while before Barnett and his staff can return to the business of hugging. Until then, they're content to provide positive beats throughout the valley. Hopefully we'll be able to start doing smaller shows eventually, but um, you know, until then we just wanna get the music out there and, and keep uh, sharing uh, the music of these great artists. Tickets and information can be found at joshuatreemusicfestival.com. Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs.